One night, a gang of thieves were stealing boxes with electronics from a warehouse. They were carrying them to their van when they heard a police car siren. And still, even though the thieves didn't manage to avoid the police, they didn't get arrested. Why? They started to carry the boxes back into the warehouse, pretending to be a late-night delivery. You need to take two apples from your garden and bring them to your friend, but she lives on the other bank of the river. To get to her house, you have to cross a bridge. It can hold your weight and the weight of one apple. If you try to step on the bridge with two apples, it'll collapse into the water, which is swarming with piranhas. What can you do to bring your friend two apples if you can only make one trip? You should cross the bridge while juggling the apples. When is 1,893 and 2,548 smaller than 498? When they are years BCE. Susan worked in a clothing store that sold expensive designer items. One day, she discovered that someone had stolen a pair of pants. Look at the people who were inside at that time. Try to figure out who the thief is. It's the guy on the right. If you look attentively at his legs, you'll see the pants peeping out from under his jeans. A mad researcher caught Eric. He told the man, I'll let you go if you jump from a 30-foot tall ladder and remain unhurt. Eric thought a bit and did just that. How did he manage to avoid injuries? He jumped from the bottom stair. Detective Michael Brown went missing while investigating a tricky case. His friend, Detective Williams, found out that one of their colleagues was behind his disappearance. Williams visited Brown's home, and his friend's wife gave him a note. Michael told me to give it to you if something happened to him. In the note, there were four numbers, two, eight, six, seven. Williams started to question his colleagues. I've been away visiting my parents, said Tess. Jack said, I haven't seen Brown for a couple of days. And Nora replied, I'm just a trainee. Detective Brown gave me a task and I was busy doing it. Williams thought for a while, looked at the note again, and understood who was guilty. It was Tess. 2867. The first letters of these numbers make up her name. When Ashley came home in the evening, she noticed that the living room window was broken. She got angry. Her husband must have practiced his favorite soccer moves inside again. But the man said, I was sitting on the sofa watching a soccer match. Suddenly, a ball hit the window from the outside and broke the glass. He showed his wife the soccer ball he was talking about. But Ashley came to the window and immediately realized her husband was lying. How? The woman saw that the glass was on the ground outside the house. But if someone outside had kicked the ball and it had broken the glass, the shards would be inside the room. Three tortoises are having a walk in the park. One of them says, two tortoises are following me. The second tortoise says, one tortoise is moving in front of me and one is behind me. And the third tortoise says, two tortoises are traveling in front of me and one is behind me. How is it possible? The tortoises are moving in a circle. Stephen had a storeroom in his house. It got locked with a special padlock which could be closed without a key. But to open it, Stephen had to use one. The only person who had the key was Stephen. There were no duplicates. 
The man locked the door carefully every evening. But one day, a golden brooch was found lying in the middle of his storeroom. It had been stolen from the museum the day before. The police suspected that Stephen was the thief because no one else had the key and the man lived alone. Stephen knew for sure he was innocent, but then how did the brooch appear in the room? While Stephen was in the storeroom, the real criminal changed the padlock. Stephen didn't need the key to lock it. That's why he didn't realize the padlock had been changed. Later, the thief opened the lock with his own key and left the brooch inside the room. Look at these two detectives standing on a wooden board. Which of them is smarter? The one on the left, he can keep his balance by standing in the middle of the wooden board. But the other detective can easily fall down. Once, a dance studio owner found Dylan, one of the instructors, lying on the floor in one of the rooms. Someone had hit the man on the head. The police questioned the dance studio workers and visitors and found three suspects. Chloe, a regular, said she hadn't visited the studio for several days. She had a couple days off and spent them sunbathing on the beach. Ethan, another instructor, told the police his friend had called him and asked for help. That's why he had left the studio before Dylan came to work. Layla, Dylan's girlfriend, told the police they had quarreled earlier in the morning, but after that, she didn't see Dylan. The police officers understood right away who was behind the attack. It was Chloe. She said she had spent several days on the beach, but her skin was extremely pale. There are four floors in a hotel. The higher the floor, the more people stay there. Which floor does the elevator visit most frequently? The first floor. People from all the floors go there. A billionaire's wife called the police at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. She said she found her husband unconscious in his study. A baseball bat was lying next to him on the floor. The police questioned everyone who lived in the house. The wife said she had been away, buying her husband a present for their 10th wedding anniversary. The driver said he had left the evening before. He went to his parents' house because they needed some help. And the cook said he'd been preparing breakfast since 6 a.m. and hadn't left the kitchen. Who's lying? The wife. Stores aren't likely to be open so early on Sunday morning. You've got nine coins. One of them is fake, and it weighs a bit less than the others. You've also got a pair of scales, and you're about to do two weighings. How can you figure out which coin isn't real? The first weighing, three coins and three coins. If one of these piles weighs less, the fake coin is there. If they have the same weight, the fake coin is in the third pile. The second weighing, take two coins out of the pile with the smallest weight. The lighter one is fake. If their weight is equal, the fake coin is the third one. Kevin woke up in a hospital. He only remembered his name and nothing else. A doctor came in to check on the guy. He said three young women were waiting to see Kevin. The women came in. Strangely, each of them had claimed she was the guy's sister. Only one of them is telling the truth. Who is it? It's the one in the middle. She has a birthmark on her hand, and Kevin has the same. Brenda promised her friend Larry to write an essay for their Friday lecture, but she had one condition. I'll help you if you increase 86 by 12 without adding anything to this number. Larry was able to do it. How?
He wrote 86 on a piece of paper, turned it upside down, and he got 98. You're at home when your friends suddenly drop by. In your fridge, you only have a bottle of soda, some orange juice, and a bottle of water. What will you open first? The door of your fridge. Five cats need five minutes to catch five mice. How much time does one cat need to catch one mouse? The same time, five minutes. Amanda was going through a deserted park when someone hit her on the head. When she recovered, her bag, along with her phone, money, and documents were gone. There were no people around except for one elderly lady. Amanda rushed towards her, explained the situation, and asked to call the police. The lady told her not to worry and started to press 911 on her phone. After talking for a minute, she said, They're going to be here in no time. As soon as Amanda heard these words, she sprinted off. Why? Amanda saw the lady's phone didn't have any signal. Then how could she call the police? A glass jar is standing on the table so that part of it is in the air. In half an hour, the jar will fall to the floor. Why? What's inside the jar? Inside the jar, there's some ice, but its weight is distributed in such a way that the jar is balanced. Once the ice melts and turns into water, the jar will fall.